We have a Holden Cruise with an oil cooler fault. It is getting oil into the coolant. Okay, so if we have a look in here, you can see it's all browny crappy. And if we get a bit on our finger, you can see how it's getting that that milkiness to it. Okay, that is oil, and I can feel it. I can feel the oil sitting on top of the coolant there. Okay, so that is an oil cooler fault. The oil cooler on these is down in front of the motor, so you've got your oil filter here. So that's a part of a housing that goes under the exhaust manifold there. So this is it with the exhaust manifold off. So that's your oil filter housing and goes into your oil cooler along there. So you've got coolant pipe going down into the block there and that coolant pipe there, what did that connect to? Oh yeah, so the pipe goes up into there, that one there, cool, and um, we had to pull the dipstick out to get, the, um, get it out of the way for the manifold. Um, and the oil level is above where that oil dipstick comes out so just be aware you'll lose some oil when you do that alright so this bit here on the cruise is actually the cooler um, so that other housing just goes over top of this so you need to take that off first so that you can get the oil cooler off and then replace that and reassemble with new seals obviously um, so we used all genuine Holden parts for this um, and the price between just doing seals and doing the seals and the cooler um, was only like a hundred dollars so definitely worth doing the cooler itself as well Okay, and once you've replaced the cooler, of course you're going to want to flush the coolant out uh, and it helps if you use some sort of de-oiling product like this uh, during the flushing process. The other thing um, we'll do with this is we won't put our antifreeze in it straight away, we'll let it um, be run for say a month and then we will flush the coolant again and then put antifreeze in it. Okay, um, just to make sure we're getting rid of all that oil first. Okay, that is how to replace the oil cooler on your Holden Cruise when you get oil into your coolant. Okay, that's what the fault is going to be. Okay, I hope that has helped you out today. Don't forget to click a like and subscribe for more real tips from Real Mechanics.